My BFI player choice this week is a low-budget cult classic from Japanese filmmaker Shinya Tsukamoto, who would go on to make such splendidly twisted offerings as Tokyo Fist and A Snake of June. Financed with money saved from Tsukamoto's day job and considered unreleasable until it took Rome's Fanta Festival horror bash by storm, it's a head-spinning swirl of a movie that established its director as a pioneer of eccentric extreme cinema, Tetsuo the Iron Man. <laughs> Shot over a period of 18 gruelling months, during which many of the crew lost patience with the project and walked, Tetsuo follows a sadomasochistic metal fetishist who is run down by a Japanese salaryman and his girlfriend and returns to wreak a terrible revenge. All this is captured on grainy 16mm black and white film by Tsukamoto and leading lady Kei Fujiwara, both of whom served as cinematographers. Tsukamoto also wrote, produced and edited, as well as overseeing the stop motion animation effects and using his own flat as both a production base and a location. It was not what you would call a lavish affair. The results, however, were utterly startling evoking the body horror of David Cronenberg, the nightmarish surrealism of David Lynch, the dystopian visions of James Cameron's Terminator movies, and the manga-inflected future fantasy of Akira and its ilk. Having once considered burning the negative of Tetsuo because the filmmaking process had proven so traumatic, Tsukamoto found himself at the cutting edge of a cyberpunk wave that would see his debut feature quoted, copied, and referenced for decades to come. Two sequels followed. Check them out, but be warned, neither are for the faint-hearted.